So for this particular episode of My Two Cents, I'm going to talk about um, the rolling blackouts and power outages that have been happening here and there over the past, I don't know, maybe two, maybe a little bit more years. And as we approach, fastly approach summer um, with extreme weather and and other uh, external, you know, uh, attributes to to possibly losing power all over uh, the states, and maybe it even happens in other countries, I I want to share some of my thoughts on there, some of my notes that I took. So I did an episode a while back, and I talked about the things that I had learned that, that I didn't know previously that uh, there have been at least between 600 to 900 attacks to our infrastructure um, that I had no clue about, okay? Um, And it's across the nation. And the claims that funding had actually been allotted, okay, for maintaining the integrity of the power stations and the grids. So I wondered, why are we still dealing with power outages, Okay, why are we still dealing with it? If it has been threatened and actual valid attacks have been done to our power stations and the the power grid and the infrastructure, why hasn't certain things been taken into hand? And they even had even anticipated, so they anticipated for the future possible, which you would call cyber attacks. To the infrastructure. So I'm still kind of scratching my head. And as the extreme weather, as I said a second ago, people in Texas have gone at least 72 hours without power. And there are a lot of older people who have pre existing conditions. Um, one off the cuff, off the rip, is diabetes, people who are on oxygen or need other kind of equipment to help them, but they have no power, so they have to go without, okay? Not to mention, um, every food is expensive, everything is sky high, the scarcity people are living, including myself, in food deserts, and um, dealing with food insecurity. So they have food in their fridge, and now the food is spoiled, Okay, and it was one particular lady uh, individual who was an older African-American woman and she shared something. She says that she has diabetes and she uh, is on insulin. And she said when it is extremely hot outside, that's when her blood sugar plummets low. Okay, so there's so many layers to this, and I'm just trying to understand if we are able to give trillions of dollars, okay, to other countries. I'm not saying don't help other countries. I'm not self, saying not help other people. I'm all for it. I have a very giving heart, okay? I'll give you the shirt off my back, okay? Anyone that is honest about me and knowing me and being around me for a certain amount of time will tell you this. I will give you the shirt off my back without even thinking about it, okay? I'll give you my last. So I'm not a stingy person. I'm not uh, uh, whatever, okay? But you have to, like they say, I hate to copy other people, make it make sense, okay? So how are you able to do this? Why aren't you doing something about it, okay? You give all of these monies to other places so that they can participate in war and destruction and desolation. People who are homeless, but you don't help the homeless people that are here, okay? You kick them out of the places that they're in. People who have actually served their country, okay? And they didn't have to serve their country. They did it and they found themselves when they came back homeless. And then they homeless and they live in, in a facility for homeless people, but you kicked them out and put somebody else there. Can I get a witness? Okay, so this particular woman said that she had no power for 72 hours. She has pre-existing conditions. She's lost her food. Okay, her medicine is no good, null and void, because it must be refrigerated. 
and the oppressive heat that she had to endure. She said she doesn't even have words to describe what she went through physically, uh, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. How is she able, if she's on a fixed income, she's retired, how is she able to recoup what she has lost, the medication, the food, she's on a fixed uh, income? How is she supposed to do that? And from what I'm from what I'm seeing is that she is is a common voice, it's a commonality, and there's more to come. Before we get to this this weather that we're having, why didn't we make steps? If previously you had all of these attacks to the actual infrastructure before we even got here, between 600 to 900 attacks across the board within the past two to three years. So it is not like we didn't know because you did know. Now, some people were also saying that, that there was money allotted, but it was not enough, that it was only so much to um, secure, if you will, I guess, fences around the actual power. I don't know. I forgot what the word is of how to get to the grid. OK, that was only it only covered that it was they did get money, but it wasn't enough to actually address what is actually needed to secure the power grids and the infrastructure. And then on top of that, they came back and said that they, if it's a cyber attack, they do not have enough qualified individuals. There's a shortage, that word again, a shortage of people who are knowledgeable and accredited to actually be on board and be on the teams that they need to be on to to stop this and to intercede. If it were to happen that they are able to jump in and counter those cyber attacks that are in fact uh, digital or electronic, because that's what cyber means, right? Okay. This is actu an actual real and very, very, very important thing. Why is nothing being done about this? Unless they want it to happen. I hate to say it, there's this weird indifference when things happen and it affects so many people, millions and billions of people, and then no one, they constantly talking, but when it's important for them to actually talk and, and man up, they don't say nothing. It's eerily quiet and silent. Why don't you have anything to say? Why don't you, why don't you come off some of them coins that you gave to all these other people? But yet people are sitting up in here like this, this poor woman, um, who is retired and she's diabetic. She's on a fixed income. She needs her insulin. She's sitting up there 72 hours without power. Her food has gone bad. Her medicine has gone bad. It's hot. She ain't got no fan. She ain't got no AC. She ready to fall out. What, why is that happening? And you you already know that it's preeminent that, that, that they're going to attack. You're having all of these issues. Now, let's say it's an outer. You're going to be attacked by the, the mysterious days they love to talk about. So you, you're dipping and diving and you're taking sides with people. They're going to retaliate. Let's, 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 let's go with the storyline that you're, you're, you're weaving here, that you're putting forth. If that is what it is, why aren't you preventing that? Why aren't you putting things into place to avoid that, to protect America? You love America. You love it. You love it. You love it. You're patriotic. You love, 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 loving it. But all the Americans that are here, you're doing nothing, nothing, nothing for them. So where's all that love that you claim you have for the United States of the America?